Alright, so in this video, I'm going to solve a complex system of equations. So in my first equation, I have x squared minus y is equal to 111. And in my second equation, I have y squared minus x is equal to 111. So notice how these are basically just the same. However, x and y are switched. And just so you guys know, as a precondition, x does not equal y. Because if x were to equal y, then obviously that would be easy to solve. So I want to find the value of x and the value of y. So to solve this, what I'm first going to do is subtract equation 2 from equation 1. So I get x squared minus y minus y squared minus x is equal to 111 minus 111. And this turns into x squared minus y minus y squared plus x is equal to 0. Which turns into x squared minus y squared plus x minus y is equal to 0. Now, x squared minus y squared, I can rewrite as x plus y times x minus y. Because if I have something in the form a, a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So now from here, if I factor out x minus y, I get x minus y times x plus y plus 1 is equal to 0. So now this gives me two equations. For my first equation, or first case, I should say, I have x minus y equals 0. And for my second case, or equation, I have x plus y plus 1 is equal to 0. So, from x minus y equals 0, I can add y on both sides, and I get x is equal to y. And remember how we said that x cannot equal y, that was a precondition that we already set, meaning this cannot be used. Now, from x plus y plus 1 is equal to 0, what I'm going to do is subtract 1 on both sides. So, I get x plus y is equal to negative 1. And we can say that this is equation number three because this is a new equation and some new info that we can use. So now what I'm going to do is add equation one and equation two. So now I have x squared minus y plus y squared minus x is equal to 111 plus 111. And this turns into x squared plus y squared minus x minus y is equal to 222. Now if I reorder this, this means x squared plus y squared is equal to 222 plus x plus y. And remember, x plus y, as we already found out here, is negative 1. And plug that in, so I get x squared plus y squared is equal to 222 plus negative 1 which means x squared plus y squared is equal to 221. So we can say that this is equation number 4. Now, equation 3, remember this was x plus y equals negative 1. What I want to do from here is square this. So I get x plus y squared is equal to negative 1 squared. And negative 1 squared is equal to 1. So I get x plus y squared is equal to 1. And x plus y squared is equal to x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. And this is the same thing. This is equal to 1. Now remember how x squared plus y squared we said was 221 according to equation 4. So I can replace x squared plus y squared with 221. So I get 221 plus 2xy is equal to 1, meaning 2 times xy is equal to 1 minus 221, which is 
negative 220 and x times y is equal to negative 110. So we can say that before I do that, actually, I'm going to divide both sides by x. These two cancel out. So I get y equals negative 110 over x. And now we can say that this is equation number 5. So going back to equation 3, which was x plus y is equal to negative 1, y is equal to negative 110 over x. So I can say that x plus negative 110 over x is equal to negative 1. And from here, I get x squared minus 110 is equal to negative x if I multiply both sides by negative x. So this means that x squared minus x minus 110 is equal to 0. So now to solve this, I can use the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. This case, a is 1, b is negative 1, and c is negative 110. So I get x is equal to negative of negative 1 plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is negative 1 squared minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 110, negative 110. And I have this all over 2a, so 2 times 1. And this turns to 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 plus 440 over 2, which is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of 441 over 2. Now, from here, the square root of 441 is 21, so I get x is equal to 1 plus or minus 21 over 2. So x is equal to 1 plus 21 over 2 and 1 minus 21 over 2. So 1 plus 21 over 2 is 22 over 2, which is equal to 11. So one solution of x is equal to 11. And 1 minus 21 is negative 20 over 2 is negative 10. So another solution of x is negative 10. Now going back here, we said x plus y equals negative 1. So keeping this in mind, this means that 11 plus y equals negative 1 and y is equal to negative 12. So this is y of 1. And y of 2, negative 10 plus y equals negative 1, meaning y is equal to 9. So this is y of 2. So I get x of 1 comma y of 1 is equal to 11 comma negative 12. And x of 2 comma y of 2 is equal to negative 10 comma 9. So these are my two solutions.